Hey guys, welcome to my daily video. Uh, so today's video is on a, a accountability. So how to hold yourself or have people around you try to hold you accountable for your training and nutrition goals and things like that. Um, so one way of doing this is doing like a, a habit contract or basically having a bet with your friend or your partner or your trainer or whoever it might be, your teacher, depending on what habit you're looking at. So obviously I'm a physio, so we're focusing mainly on uh, uh, training and nutrition kind of goals. Um, so you might, with your mate, uh, uh, you're both trying to get into a healthier weight and eat healthier and, train and exercise more regularly. So you might have a, a bet or habit contract with your friend um, to log your food every week and to train you might say oh we'll train three times a week together um, I uh, and your, your, your only thing is that you're logging your food I wouldn't go making a bet with your friend that you can eat less calories because that'd be crazy um, and then if if for example uh, you don't log your food or you miss training then you in your your contract with your mate or your bet with your mate you have to you know give them 50 quid or something for example um so the the reason why it can work so what you're doing is uh, for your good habit you're you're getting an immediate reward of endorphins or um endorphins and you're getting fitter and you're you're feeling good and you're losing weight or whatever it might be and um, and if you don't do it, then you're having that the immediate outcome is or bad bad reward or bad outcome is is giving your mate money, and uh, but it needs to be significant whatever the the outcome of of the bad habit is, so the bad habit not training the good habit training so good habit training reward for me it's endorphins, um because you want something immediate immediate, um. Because as we talked about before, you got your 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 cue, routine, and reward. And you want your reward to be immediate. Again, that's why people smoke and drink, because they might be stressed. They smoke and drink, and they feel relief, which is that immediate reward. So for our our, our cue might be a certain time in the day. To go train and win our may so that would be the training and the reward to be the for doing the good routine is endorphins and uh, and then so the cue is we're supposed to go training we don't go training which is the bad the bad uh, habit and the reward or the outcome is giving your rent money so you're le less likely to uh, do that bad bad habit of not training and that's the theory behind it there this so it's called about behavior um so again for example the reason when i treat people i'll assess assess them so i look at which movements are uh, painful or restricted say if, for example for back pain say reaching for the toes is painful or they can only reach as far as their knees um i'll get i'll do that so i'll assess them Assess a certain movement, so I'm looking for range and pain. I'll treat them by doing some soft tissue, manipulation, exercises, and then I'll reassess. So I'll get them to reach for their toes. Okay, that's painful. I might get them to do something as simple as uh, doing a child's pose to stretch off their back, get them to hold that movement for two minutes, and then get them to repeat the movement and they'll because I'm a good physio, they'll see the increased movement and reduce pain. And that's our immediate reward is relief. And that convinces the patient to do the exercises because I've proven to them it does work. And I've proven them by doing that exercise, they will get a, an immediate reward of pain relief. All right, uh, comment, like, share. Um, it's, not, it's not something I've tried in the past, um, but it's something you might want to try. Again, it doesn't have to be with... Uh, could be with your partner or a friend. Uh, this is why things like CrossFit work out well, really well, because you feel like you're accountable to your trainers at the gym. Um, 
and that can work sometimes as well. It doesn't, it doesn't work by joining, a, having a membership of the gym, because the gym doesn't give a shit whether or not you come or not. Um, but yeah, you want to try it. Sometimes you want to just find, make yourself accountable for these things in order to help achieve your 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 goal or your or your what you want to become. All right, out.